Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> There's nothing more satisfying than getting to watch some vocal warm-up footage from some of the best vocal groups, like SP19. We've so, always wondered this. Yeah. So it's going to be really exciting. There's a bunch of different stuff here, a bunch of different footage from different situations. So we're going we're gonna to have a little look at that. Yeah. It also, it's been very requested lately. So I, I do wonder what we're going to get in here. We've never seen any of this footage. So mm. let's give it a watch. <laughs> Shout out, who's the, who's the creator? Got a whole, it's <laughs> got a whole intro. Oh, yes, sir. Carousel. Oh my God, hilarious. And that, that right there is just like... I'm not gonna lie, they really had me in the first half. Okay. Okay, show it to me, show it to me. Okay. That fucking sound of a metronome. I, I brings hate back it. <laughs> freaking trauma. That's well, what I call if you, that. If you're a drama or a percussionist, like no, there's... I think if you've ever studied music theory, that freaking metronome I brings agree. back the trauma. thing. Is, the thing is, well, it's like when you play <laughs> the drums or you play percussion or whatever, it's a like metronome. Well, you have to be able to basically have that in your head. <laughs> That's right. So we, we I, I have so many dreams about <laughs> that fucking metronome. I hate it. Oh, uh, drums. What about those exercises? Yeah, they're pretty accurate. They're first put on. Have they? you done them? Do you do definitely. them all the time? Like, not you. I mean, like, is As it popular? To oh, do? yes. They, definitely. Again, I think that these are very sp uh, uh, genre-specific uh, exercises that... Uh, for example, for people for uh, that do theater, wouldn't do this type of vocal exercises that that enhance vocal runs and pop quality in the vocals. It would be more to enhance the richness and maybe the flexibility mow, of the. Mow, that fucking yeah, sharp this, patient. correct. Well, those are more diction uh, exercises than they are the vocal warm ups for for the larynx itself. Uh, so what you would encourage more is like larynx flexibility. So uh, more about the. Uh. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay, yes. We'll go with that. So these are lip trills. So they're actually really good. Okay, so these are really good. So vocal lip trills are a really good, efficient, energy efficient way to warm up the larynx to so they move across in the in the uh in the uh inside of your throat so they're, they're encouraging that flexibility that elasticity in the in the throat without actually having to put a lot of physical effort into it which also with, with the vibration of the of the lips it helps loosen up all the little bits of like extra phlegm or anything that needs to be extra warmed up so the the vibration actually en enhances that type of like a uh, uh, mobility aspect of the larynx. It's, it's one of the most efficient ways to warm up when you need to warm up quickly. Quickly, um, Yeah, I, one of my favorites. And you see, you can move around, you're really quite relaxed. Nice. Yeah. See, these are more gen gen genre specific. That's pretty good. And this is some good footage. This is footage, really dude. great footage. And I think that's what makes them so good in studio. 
Kalipasan mo na tawi ang lungkot sa iyong mata di na luluha pang buli. That's what makes them really good in studio. That they're actually quite um, focused on detail. That they're quite note accurate, and that's one of their priorities also. Uh, so when you see this type of footage, you really get an open window to what that note accuracy in the process actually is like. Because when you see it live, when you see it, you hear it in studio, it's like you take it for granted. You understand that that's what they need to be like. That you kind of take for granted that I'll, there's a lot of mental power that goes behind that, mm. um, and it's really cool to see see the journey. I, I hope, I'm, I'm I hope, excited about this. I hope with SP19 that the bigger they become, they still are these hands on on their own productions. Um, I really hope so. It does happen a lot of the time that the bigger, especially groups, become. Uh, things become more, uh, which is nothing wrong with it, I guess. There's just some magic that can be lost mm -hmm. if you're not that hands-on as they are right now. This is some... <laughs> that was uh, Bulan. That was for... Uh, That's pretty cool, bro. Uh, what the hell? For Bulan. <laughs> Anything else? You see? Cool. In our hearts and souls, yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Pablo, all this. Oh my god, dude. These are for breath control and support. Those long prolonged songs, uh, those are that's for uh, support, helping the diaphragm get support. Also, there's a lot of breath control play in that. Um, so those those uh, monotone exercises for uh, vocal gods like them, it's it's more about like the breath control, and then you can also see the they're abdominal wall, yeah? yeah, how they're they're actually working so closely to the abdominal wall. Like it's about the release, it's about the disengaging and engaging of different sets of muscles. Uh, so this Talk these about are these more people that could do like Shakira. Right? <laughs> Probably, I don't know. I've never, I've never seen anyone try. <laughs> <laughs> so you were saying? Uh, I'm saying this is more like a like a musical approach to it, uh, because then again they do dance, so they need a good balance between what muscles engage and what muscles disengage in singing, as well as <laughs> as well when they're performing with the, their. Much is so happy we're going to see this type of footage because I've always. Um, have mentioned that I think their pedigree is quite high, especially given the sort of training that they have. Um, I forget the name of that woman, but it's basically the oh, mastermind yeah. behind the SB19, Korean lady. Oh, yeah. Um, and uh, it you really rarely get to see this with any groups worldwide. Let mm -hmm. it be Korean groups, let it be Malaysian groups, let it be Indonesian. Let it, mm -hmm. You never get to see this style of footage. Um, US groups, these are like footage that are so deep in the archives. And for some reason, maybe they wait for like, Dropping in a documentary or something like that. Or I what that's what I like about SB19. Like a lot of this footage has been released throughout the uh, different it, sets of of, of um, projects that they have dropped. Yeah, on I, the, I think a lot channel. of this stuff, the actual footage, like the full version, and yeah. I would highly encourage you to check it out. It's probably on their channel, on the SB19 channel. Yeah. It's That's and then freaking Philippe mad. Philippe continues, let's go lower. Yeah, low, that is low, so crazy though. That was so Devil clean. summoning depth. Oh my God. Go, Josh. So... That's really good. Oh, oh my God! Regime. Nice, nice. What were you All right, and so those those harmony exercises are really good for creating vocal bonding. So if you've never worked on a vocal group before, that symbiosis that they get, that incredible unison feel that they get in every chorus, 
um, is what makes them congeal. These exercises really help that growth in harmony and understanding who's where and what do they do and what their natural mannerisms are when they work in harmonies. And not to overpower anyone. Exactly. And how the dynamics, how they work, they only come from those type of like uh, harmonic ex exercises that are on scales. That, so there's no, there's no uh, lyrics. There is no pressure to push into an, uh, something else. It's more about the dynamic and getting understand each other. Anyways, Regine, who the last God? He's sad. Bro, this guy is... He's just is stupid. He's stupid, bro. Yeah, literally. Oh, nice. Oh, because Regine, Regine, is doing it. Regine go, it reaches up to Hercules. And it's actually nothing for her. Imagine, the imagine. harmony is actually quite tough because I also think it was rearranged. Like I think Stell is jumping into harmonies here mm. when in the original he never had to. So there's a lot of like new muscle memory to set in. Imagine where, like because this looks like a, it's probably like the ABS headquarters or whatever. Correct. Imagine you're walking down and then you're just in the elevator. You're like, is this what? <laughs> have I done it? Am I finally up in the heavens? <laughs> <laughs> Is that beat? Is it in the video? Is I that like know. a beat in the background? I, I, yeah, it is. Oh yeah, it is. It is. Okay, listen, the level of like, I am a, just marking. Regina is a geo. Oh, just royalty. Okay, she's singing royalty in my mind. They're just, that's just that. It's just ridiculous. Okay, Regina's also, I love this. These things get arranged so last minute. Yep, yep. yep. This, these arrangements <laughs> for ASAP are so freaking last minute. Mm -hmm. If you're a guest artist, you're working in like 48 hour kind of period. Yeah, yeah. This, it's much. There's a reason why we compliment the Filipino industry so much in terms of the pedigree of singers in comparison to all the other industries we check out. Um, mm. It's because we've Frank discussed Wilson. this as well with different musicians. From there, a lot of people actually think sometimes this hurts the actual industry itself. Other people think that it is uh, sometimes what creates this calluses, what creates this ability to adapt so fast. I think the answer is probably somewhere in the middle. Um, but it seems a lot in Filipino TV or in Filipino shows, a lot of things are actually done quite last minute, like in the sense of you only get a couple of days to arrange, to prepare. You only have a couple of uh, hours sometimes to figure shit out. We know plenty of Filipino artists. And now that when you go to ASAP, sometimes you got to call 24 hours before. That's right. The and band. So... And sometimes you get the arranged version for you to practice like the morning off. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot there's a lot of space for it to go wrong. So there's two things that have to be highlighted. Some of your favorite shows and performances that you have seen on television, they were probably very um uh the the the, the adaptation ability, it's what Mo you have to give them the most credit for. Then and the there's fact also that they murder is just astronomical. That's that's what makes it next level in comparison to any other television show because the singing ability, uh, it's always the highest in 
television from the Philippines and it's done in a shorter period of time. Correct. So there's also this begs the question, what happens if this collaboration was perhaps arranged in three weeks mm -hmm. uh, 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 in, rather than in a couple of days? Uh, it begs that question. However, as the quality always remains so high, there isn't a need for us to commentate on that because it's like, what? what's the point of saying it? You probably got the best version now anyway. That's but true. it just begs the question. And that's the conversation we've been having with so many musicians and artists from the Philippines. It's like, if we can be this good like this, like what happens perhaps if it, instead of releasing a track uh, in three weeks, we release it in three months? What mm -hmm. what details could we have, you know, figured out Polished, and stuff? Yeah. But it's just the, the upside to that. It's like, dude, you're getting some of the best singers and they can do shows at any time, arrangements, adapt at any time, any point, any mood, yep. any it, genre. It's, it's truly, it's truly astronomical it's mental, to me. It's, mental. it's insane. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> I love how well equalized he is. Oh my god, he, they equalized him so like well. a god. Yeah, yeah. He, so great. He's actually the mo the hardest person to equalize for. Because he doesn't only just do bass lines, he's working all across his range. Yep, yep. So it's a one of like he is a tough he's a tough Ken human to Felipe's equalize. Job yeah. is Hard as hell, yeah, man. I agree. Yes, sir. Can we have more R&B, Felipe oh R&B, bro? Like, God. that man needs to just drop a whole EP, at least an EP. Just oh, R&B, like pure R&B. Listen, it's, it's, just, it's just the, it's the velvetiness, and I love the versatility in one person. Yeah, yeah. You can have a really nice, subtle tenor, and then an incredible, really solid bass, which it's so common. Listen awesome. to this. It's so I mean, common for the genre. Not a very pleasant uh, stop frame <laughs> here, but talk about someone who can do many things and oh, it's yeah. a fucking genius. Pablito. Brain power. You see, it's such a light tenor. <laughs> <laughs> They're so good. Oh, live band. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is great. This, I think this are... What is this? I think this this might have been like... Uh, is this where you were performance video? But what, live which one? performance. I don't know. Maybe this is like a pre-rehearsals for like their tour and Could stuff like that. Could be the like YouTube that. one as well. YouTube stuff. I don't know. The There's YouTube so many. Fest. So many. Do you remember that? Yeah, true. Well, they didn't have a live band. They didn't one. have a band. <laughs> How great the <laughs> Cause as you do, yes, yes, sir. I love that this is like as far as no feedback, it can. Nice. Oh, oh for no. fuck's sake. Yep, very well, cool. Let's have a look. Away. What's the name? Mew Mew? Mew Mew. Mew Mew. Mew Mew. What a wild person, dude. Just what an absolute man. What a personality. What a That's what I have to character. say. I saw. I love their vlogs, though. On the, like, on their the vlogs video. are freaking cracking me up. They're uh, great. Mew Mew was reviewing Regine Velasquez. Oh, yeah. It's like, mm, sharp, babe. <laughs> it was just. <laughs> One of the most, Sorry, but that funny. was a little sharp. And it was all in Tagalog. <laughs> it wasn't much in English, but the little bits in English. Oh, mate, I cracking was cracking me up. up. I yeah. could just watch it. Okay. 
Vocalization is Vocalization is a fucking word. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> uh, okay, she even had a breakout. <laughs> Welcome to the zone, take a look around We have here the oldest but the sexiest man in town And here's the clever guy who write amazing songs And this one here can sing notes that so high Welcome to the zone, there are more to see The main dancer that's so dumb at my breakfast as you see And here I am, the youngest boy and cutest you can see Oh, but I gotta tell you something, bro. TikTok is a wild bro, world. Bro, like this TikTok thing, I don't fucking TikTok. get it. Although, but there it was... does sound like he's, he's part of like Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, the live action version. Vocally, <laughs> it's actually like, I rate it highly, but the whole, I don't get TikTok. It's not for me, bro. Like, it genuinely isn't. But I have to say this SB19, like, in terms of talent. Um, I, I, I couldn't be any, uh, uh, what would you call it? Um, delighted. Pleased and delighted yeah. at the success that they're achieving. And it's so nice to have a look at this type of footage um, mm -hmm. that we've never actually seen or, or didn't even know it was available. So it's really good. And to have Ballet here kind of breaking shit down because I wouldn't know any of these exercises. So let us know if you guys uh, would like us to do this with other groups or anything like that. And uh, shout out to SB19. Goodbye.